A masterpiece. Oh, the first one too? Is it gonna be her? Nope. We get wrecked by Le Le Lasso. It's not even a good one, I don't think. Ah, uh, how utterly, utterly sad. Subscribe, please. Hello, YouTube. I'm coming to you live because... Because... I don't know why I said live. This is not live. This is recorded. But I am coming to you because uh, we have the second... Uh, we have the second part of the the second part of the action when it comes to the collaboration between Brown Dust Two and Senran Kagura. So we actually have a new banner, and I just wanted to do like a little bit of a uh, pulling session, essentially, right? So let's get into it right away. I'm gonna be pulling for her. Uh, we have the absolutely beautiful Yumi. That's right there. She's looking quite great um yeah so we're gonna be trying to pull for her and obviously also a weapon the weapon is not gonna be my priority i will try to get it uh for now i'm just doing the free pull not it but yeah we are gonna be pulling for her so if you haven't seen her yet she is um she's essentially a dps she does damage in a single line um and she does four attacks and she applies dots on the enemy, which is pretty good. Now, is she absolutely amazing? Well, she has good damage. She can spam it pretty well. Um, if the content is long, um, the damage ramps up very, very well. Now, there are some negative points for her. She, it is, you need to put in the work to actually sustain her dots on the same target. Because if you do not, you're going to lose all of her stacks, right? And also, it can be a little bit awkward to play her with some buffers like Teresa, for example. So, there are some stuff to do here. You're going to have to, to be, you know, adjust your team composition potentially. But she definitely has potential. She's a water DPS. Um, she Her ability uh, only cost 5. With plus 1, it will cost 4. With the skill potential, it goes down to 3. Right? Very, very good. Um, on top of it, there's an upgrade to make it so the line of damage becomes 4 instead of 3. Which is nice, obviously. And uh, we can see all of this here, right? Three, very front, knock back. It's magic damage. It's based on your attack. You apply stack of dots on the enemy. It can stack up to 99, which is very, very good, obviously. And you can see the upgrades here at plus five. We get some big, big buffs in here, which is very nice, right? And uh, the cooldown goes down to four. And you'll get even more here with those. It goes up to three. We get a buff of essentially 30% uh, to the base damage. And uh, the range increases, which is uh, fantastic. So there we go. Those are the buff. This is what you want to be looking for. Um, and obviously, the stacking dot is pretty unique in her case. And um, yeah. So I, I think she can actually apply up to five dots on the enemy uh, every time she does it. Um, but yeah. What is going to be very, very good is just using it a lot, right? So you're going to need to apply it as much as possible. And uh, you, the thing is that you need to apply it basically every single turn. Otherwise, the enemies just lose all the stacks. Which means you have to use her every single turn. So that is the biggest drawback, but also the biggest strength. So yeah, there it is. Now... We are going to be trying to pull for her. That's what I'm going to do. We got a free pull first and foremost. We didn't get anything, unfortunately. Uh, now, we have 33 pulls. And then about, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe we have like... Is that 80 pulls? Something like that. So let's give it a, let, let's give it a, a shot here. Alright. 25 points. 
95 points. Damn. Alright, let's see. Woo! Give it a good, good. Nothing here. Whew. So perfect! Alright. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Usually I'm pretty unlucky and I get spooked by a lot of uh, random units. And I, I really want those characters. Now, don't be worried if you don't get her right away. Uh, they did say in the patch notes that there will be a way to actually get like almost 100 free pool from the event uh, at some point. So um, that will be a thing later on. I think they said it will be toward the end of the, the collab essentially. So we have way more pools incoming eventually. And obviously, through playing the event, etc., you can get a bunch of gems, so, you know, it won't be too, too bad. Alright, nothing here. Not even getting spooked. Uh, let's try with our 30 pool. That's our 30th pool. Come on. <gasps> so perfect! Oh. <gasps> a masterpiece! <gasps> oh, the first one, too? Is it gonna be her? Nope. We get wrecked by L L Lassel. It's not even a good one, I don't think. Ah, uh, how utterly, utterly sad. What? How utterly sad. Uh, man, I really want at least plus one. But because she's collab, I really want plus five. And this is not starting well at all. <laughs> All right, well, okay, plus two, great. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. <gasps> <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Please. Please, 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 please. Come on. Come on. It's her. Yes. <laughs> Okay, okay, we got a copy of her. Yes. Thank freak. We got a copy of Yumi. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that feels good. Okay, uh, let's keep pulling. We still have a bunch. And then we'll get a free 10 pull from getting her. Okay, nothing here. I'm gonna skip since we got absolutely nothing, right? Let's see here. Still nothing? Damn. All right, 10 more. Come on. Ooh, the second one. Plus one. Give me that plus one for the lower SP cost. Is it gonna be her again? Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, that feels hella good. I was super unlucky today when I was playing Honkai back third when I did my pool. So this feels good to actually uh, get some decent pool here. Not the best in the world, but this is a. Uh, this is helping a bit with the with the unlucky tea. Alright, uh, we got ten more here. And nothing. Okay. So at least we got her plus one. Uh, most importantly, uh, because of how um, um, let's place her here. There we go. Uh, because of how the events function, we get uh, 11, 21 more pools, just one pool from trying out, 20 from getting the custom the costume and plus one. So let's do that. That's 21 more pools. I got 200 here. Uh, I have to do the event. I haven't done it yet. I haven't done my dailies. So let's go back to pulling and let's try to get more copies of her. So, also I have like 81 points here. You need 200, right, to exchange? Yeah, 200. How many points do I have? 25? And her? Uh, what's her name again? 65. Okay. All right, let's 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 pull 10 more. I've got essentially... Yeah, this is 30 more pulls. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, it has to be the second one. Sometimes the color doesn't show up properly. Ah, it's not her! Freak! Oh! Blood Glutton. I didn't have her. I didn't even know this was a unit. Well, I think this is my first time actually seeing her. Blood Glutton uh, Justia. For 8 turn property damage increased by 200. Heal HP by 63 based on the fixed damage. 
Okay, interesting. Yeah, I didn't even know this this version of Jessia. Okay, cool. Uh, too bad it's not the character I wanted, but yeah. All right, twenty more pulls. Let's go. Uh, come on, uh, not this one, sadly. And this is the last ten pull, I believe. <gasps> yes. Okay, okay, come on, come on, another Yumi. <sighs> it's gonna be another Yumi. Okay, not here. Is it this one? No. I'm stressed out. <laughs> Is it gonna be the last one? Or did they just troll me? Oh, there it is! Come on! Yes! Another Yumi! Hell yeah! Ah, oh, this feels good. Alright! That was huge! Okay, so I got her plus two, which is gonna be magic increased by 30%, as well as the SP cost reduction, obviously. Um, sure, we can be here. So let me see. Overall, this means that... Obviously here, she's plus three. I just need to, to do the, the, the events again to get her to plus five. I got her UR. Here, I got Hikage plus four. So I need one more of Hikage. And then I am going to need... I am gonna need uh, three more copies of Yumi to get up. Where is she? There she is. Three more copies here. And her weapon. So there's gonna be a lot to do in here. I'm gonna level her up real quick. And uh, we'll get on that. I think in terms of what you wanna focus on, if you have her and you wanna build her, you are definitely gonna wanna focus on getting that SP cost minus one from her, from her potential, right? Um, I would say her range upgrade is probably going to be useful as well. Definitely useful. Um, and then the skill potential one, which is just going to be like damage percentage. I think it's okay. It's not the most important, but you can definitely upgrade it. It is a nice upgrade. Let's put it this way. So let's get her to level 100 real quick. Um, now, in terms of equipment, obviously going to get her her equipment and then you probably just want some magic attack some crit damage and the usual you know so there we go and of course it's either going to be like defense or magic defense depending on the enemies so upgrades boop magic attack magic attack a bit more magic attack and here this is going to be the cost reduction and this is going to be the skill range increase so this one you can potentially ignore it this is not the absolute priority I would aim toward the others first. I had pre-farmed a little bit. So I get the cost reduction. And here I won't have enough right away to get this. But I'll get there eventually. And uh, yeah, that would be my suggestions to get those. And then grab this. Then I'll probably get uh, like the water damage increase here. The magic damage increase. And eventually I'll get that probably. But she's just not my, my absolute priority for this. In terms of gear, I'm going to get her weapon. Uh, I'll just auto-equip for now. I'll just have this, and this is fine right now. Decent magic attack. Crit damage is okay. Crit rate is pretty bad, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll get that uh, worked out somehow. So yeah, that's uh, those were my pools. I'll be farming for more pools in the future, and hopefully I get enough to actually get copies of her. More copies of her. Oh, actually, I do have an additional temple. I forgot, because I did get another copy, so there we go. And here we got a lot of stuff as well. Um, let's see if we can actually... I do have a temple, so... Why not? Boop. Pop. Ah, too bad. Well, we tried. <laughs> and uh, because I have 128 pool, 121 pool, if I can get like two more copies in 80 pool, I'll get the last one with the draw points, which would be nice. Uh, so yeah. Actually, I haven't checked the uh, the powder of hope place in a while. Piercing magic bow, Eleanor from here. Ah. Uh, I can also get 10 pool here. Maybe I should. Nah, I'm lazy about this one. I'll think about it. And Powder of Hope. Ooh, Admiral Sylvia. I don't have her. Eh, I'll think about it. Alright, anyway, those were my pools. Let me know in the comments how it went for you. Let me know if you got what you wanted. If you're satisfied. I am personally pretty happy. It ended up pretty, going pretty well for me. 
Uh, hopefully, I'll get some more copies. I'll let you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!